thousands of students in colleges and schools across London were forced to stay home after teachers staged a one-day strike. In an increasingly bitter battle between public sector workers and the coalition, thousands took to the capital streets, demanding the government scale back on its cuts agenda. In the largest industrial action since last November's national strikes, the National Union of Teachers, the largest union representing teaching staff across the UK, they say their members are angry at proposed changes to their pensions, which would see them working longer. Other organisations joined the strike in support. It's an issue for all of us because the attacks on pensions and pension rights goes right across the board and it lines up with all the other austerity measures with this government. It makes me even more determined and make it even more important for us to get on the streets. Yes, it's about our pensions today, but it's more than that. It's about stopping this government ripping up everything which is decent in our society. The message that we're bringing is that teachers and other public sector workers should not have their pensions so badly damaged by this government. It's a very unfair government which is treating rich people very favourably and is attacking ordinary working people. The government says pension reforms are needed to overhaul the system and save money as part of its austerity drive. Concessions have already been given to the teachers over this issue and the coalition argues there's simply not enough money to maintain the current system. Other unions are planning their own days of action with the NUT strike having national support. There is mounting anger towards what some say is a government more concerned with protecting the rich. The 2012 budget favoured the country's highest earners while squeezing public sector workers and the poorest members of society. Three billion pounds has been handed to the very richest people in this country. One, Bob Diamond, the chief executive of Barclays Bank, one of the world's biggest banks, will personally gain 300,000 pounds for that. That's more than ten times the salary of um, a leading teacher in a school in one year. He will get in addition to the millions he already gets paid. It is disgusting, it is disgraceful. Striking teachers and their supporters have vowed to return to the streets until their demands are met, however long it takes. This day of action is the latest in a battle of wills between teachers who are fighting tooth and nail against the government and the coalition who are digging their heels in when it comes to their austerity program and pension reforms. With other unions poised to ballot their members on industrial action later this year, 2012 is shaping up to be an uncomfortable one for David Cameron and the rest of the coalition. Amina Taylor, Press TV, London.